Welcome to Montana Matters. We're joined by Maggie Brucefin. She is a recruitment coordinator with CASA of Yellowstone County. Thank you so much for being here with us today. What is CASA? What does CASA stand for? CASA, um, it stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. So these are trained community volunteers. They're everyday people um, who come alongside kids who are in the, the child welfare system due to abuse or neglect. Uh, and then they've been placed in foster care. And our CASAs are the advocate, the voice for the child while they're in the court system. Okay, mm -hmm. so what, I what are the benefits of having a CASA uh, for these children out there? Mm -hmm. So um, our CASAs, uh, they are the one constant in, in this system that people I think hear about, you see in TV shows, um, where foster care is, is, is turmoil for kids. They're being moved, they're being uh, placed in new schools, um, they're seeing their parents periodically. Um, and so kids with a CASA often do better in school um, both behaviorally and academically. They've got somebody who's looking out for them um, on, a, on a consistent basis. Um, they spend about eight months less time in foster care than kids without a CASA, oh. and they're less likely to re-enter the system later, again, due to re-abuse. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. So how can someone become an, a CASA, and what are the requirements? Mm -hmm. So we are looking um, for people who are compassionate, who are responsible, um, and who have time. So it takes about five to 15 hours a month worth of work. Um, and that's throughout that 18 to 24 month time period. Yeah. Um, and they, um, <coughs> they need to pass a background check. We're working with okay. children. Um, and then there's, there's a six week training program that is, uh, it's a 30 hour training program. Um, and it's, it's one day a week for three hours. And then you do um, half of the work online at home. So you can stay in your pajamas. Uh, right now it's the summertime, so people are, probably out having fun, um, but in the winter time, you know, it gets cold and you can stay in your jammies and, and drink hot chocolate and do um, do the training partly at home. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, very good. So recruitment is a goal of mm -hmm. your organization um, and you have another training session coming up. It looks like September 15th, correct? Yep, okay. yep. and our trainings do fill up. Um, the first step is to attend an information session and I do a couple a month. Um, so people can visit our website, which is yellowstonecasa.org okay. uh, and that has the schedule of all those information sessions that we do. Good way to find out about our program. Um, more detail than this um, so they can make a decision about whether or not this is a good fit for their, for their time and their skills. Okay, right, and how many children are being served? How many volunteers overall are you looking for? Mm -hmm. So to put, to give you some perspective, uh, in 2014 we had 184 uh, new kids that came into the system on top of kids that were already placed in foster care. In 2015 there were 455 new kids. Um, so we've seen a huge increase. So far 2016 is um, tracking worse than 2015. Um, and with our current numbers, we've got about 90 amazing volunteers. They're some of the best people I've ever met in this community. Um, we serve about half the kids though. Okay, so definitely looking for more volunteers. There's a range of children that they definitely mm -hmm. help here in Yellowstone County. For more information, we'd invite you to visit their website. Give them a call, 259-1233.